Welcome to OET Answers. Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Hello. Good morning. I am Narso Andrew, one of the nurses in the emergency department. How may I address you? Hi. Good morning. My name is Patience Patricia. Patricia, I am here to inform you that your daughter is all right. Oh, that's good to hear. Now you can go home. All right. Well, Patricia. Can I have a moment, please? Sure, you may please. I noticed that you were feeding your daughter some grapes without crushing them. He feels hungry, so I thought of giving her some grapes. Your thoughts are really appreciated. However, giving grapes without crushing may cause choking. It's soft, fresh grapes and easy to chew and swallow. Patricia, your thoughts are sensible. Even though the grapes are fresh, they are round. It is highly probable to get choked by the children of your daughter's age. Oh, really? I thought. Grapes are soft, so not hard like peanuts. So my daughter will be able to chew and have them safely. Try not to get confused. I would like to inform you about the choking hazard, which certain types of food possess. That sounds great. Also, I would like to hear more. Happy to see your acceptance. Listen, Patricia. Children under five years old may choke on certain types of food. Okay, can you please explain what those foods are? Mainly those small round foods and small hard foods. Because these objects are likely to be stuck in their throat, they will not allow oxygen to reach the brain. Oh, I see. But nurse, I have given my son grapes many times in the past without any problems. You might be right. Perhaps it is a dangerous act. Your child may not choke all the time he is given, but it comes under the foods, which are the highest risk of choking in children under five years old. So they should not eat them as such. I am surprised that even soft food like grapes can be a choking hazard. Whether soft or hard doesn't determine whether it is safe for children under five years old. There are several other parameters as well. For example, grapes are soft and easy to have, but accidentally, if the child swallows them, grapes won't melt or pass through. Okay. Now I am realizing your point. There is a great chance it will get stuck and cause choking in children. Now, I totally understand that. That's great. Nurse, please advise me on the types of food that I should avoid giving my daughter. I will provide some examples for more clarification. Some of the foods are hard, gooey or sticky candy, peanuts, nuts and seeds, whole grapes, marshmallows, chunks of peanut butter, popcorn, chewing gum, and so on. All right. I understand. I usually advise mothers to either provide them in a paste format or think about whether the child can easily chew and make the piece of food you are giving into a paste. Oh, okay. Thus, the food won't make the child choke. You gave me great insight. It's my pleasure. Also, I would like to highlight the danger of choking. All right. You may please proceed. Thank you, Patricia. Well, a child chokes when something gets stuck in the throat. Specifically, the trachea, known as the windpipe, allows air passage. If food is stuck in the trachea or the windpipe, it results in swelling difficulty, thus causing the inability to speak. In severe cases, it can even cause death. I follow what you have conveyed, nurse. All right. I appreciate your understanding.
May I know if you have any more concerns, please? Nothing, nurse. Your explanations were beneficial, and I understand them easily. Good to hear that. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you, nurse. Now, I will make the necessary arrangements for your daughter's discharge. Thank you. You are very welcome. That is the end of your only speaking role play. All the best. Thank you.